Hi guys, we are back again with the another video. Today we are going to make a tutorial for this. But before we start, here's your random shout out. Shout out Zarek77, Abdullo11, Track, Flackjack, Minx Gaming, Peachy, Zayan, Uni, your supporter, Numeric Myanmar. If you want to shout out or to get mentioned in the next video, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Open your CapCut application first. Create a new project. Add the original video. Mute the clip audio. Add audio. Extract the video into sound. I have the link in the description. Add match gut. Click the clip, and then click the freeze button to create a photo. Trim the first clip to 8.2 seconds. After that, let's find another photo clip. Click freeze again to create a photo. After creating the photo, we just delete this video clip. And then trim the photo to create a 2.0 seconds duration. Find another to photo clips. Click freeze to create photo. And then delete this existing video clip. Trim the photo in 2.0 seconds duration. In our last photo clip, do the same process. Trim this video clip to fit on the sound. Just click the split button. And then delete this clip. As you can see we created a 4 photo clips, and those clips had a durations of 2.0 seconds. Yeah. 
Now we are going to add keyframe in every photo clips. Follow me and please don't skip, because we are going to put the same keyframes in every clips. Okay, let's put another keyframe here on the second beat. And then, put another keyframe here. In this keyframe, we are going to move the photo like this. Okay next, put the keyframes in every beat. Just like this, to keyframes in every beat. Just do the same process. And don't forget to put a keyframe here. Let's proceed to the next steps. Move the photo that have a keyframe aligned on the beat. Move the photo downward. Apply this process in every beat. And here's the result. Let's make the same process in every photo clip. Click the clip, and then add animation. Add rock vertically animation with a duration of 5.0 seconds. Add shake one animation with a duration of 1.0 seconds. Apply this process in every photo clip. For the last clip, add the fade out animation with a duration of 1.0 seconds. Next, let's add transition. Add camera left transition with the duration of 0.7 seconds. This is an alternate transitions, and same durations. Add the right transition. Add the left transition. Add right transition. Let's play the result. Add effects. Add the black flash effect. Adjust the speed of effect. Adjust the speed into 100. After that copy the effect and move in every photo clip with the same position. Add another effect. Add the effect ripples. Adjust the speed and distort of the effect. Speed is 30. Distort is 90. Set the duration long like this.
Copy the effect and put in every photo clips as the same position. Add another effect. Add astral effect. Set the duration of the effect like this. And then, adjust the speed and range of the effect. Speed is 50. Range is 100. Copy the effect and put in every photo clips as the same position. Add another effect. Add black flash effect. Adjust the effect. Adjust the speed into 100. Add shake effect. Adjust the speed and intensity of the effect. Speed is 100. Intensity is 10. Add another effect. Add the effect Astral. Adjust the speed and range of the effect. Speed is 50. And set the original duration of range as 100. Add effect. Add the blurry focus. Adjust the speed and blur of the effect. Speed is 50. Blur is 10. Add overlay and then make a white flash effect. Rotate the photo. Add splice to photo. Apply overlay with the max opacity. Split the overlay in every beats of photo clips. Next add animation for overlay. Apply the effect fade out for all overlays.
add filter. Add a filter fade. Add another filter. Add tan effect. Set the filter into opacity of 50. And then, add the filter clear with the opacity of 80. If you like this video please subscribe for more.